All right, so I'm gonna go through the hand pieces, um, you know, the slow speed and the high speed and the different attachments that we have for them. Um, I know this looks like a lot when it's all laid out together, but it's just because there's um, different versions and options for a few of the different things. So that's why it seems like there's so much out here, but we're gonna go through um, the high speeds one at a time, the different slow speed motors, which are these. These are your high speed options, your slow speed motors, um, the attachments for the slow speed handpiece, which are here, the straight attachments for the motor for the slow speed, and then um, the profi attachments for like your cleanings and stuff. So we're gonna go through all of those, the different burrs that go with each one as well. Um, so first of all, let's take a look at the high speeds. Um, there's three different types. The most common one that we use actually here in our clinic, this is called the latch or the power lever. It has um, this little lever here that's on the back of it that you flip down to place the burr in. And then when you, to lock the burr in place, you push that little latch up. So we're gonna open it. The high speeds, it's all one piece. Remember the high speed in the clinic is the one with the green tape around the hose. It's the one that has your fiber optic light that sprays water. This does the bulk of the tooth preparation that the dentist uses. Um, bulk tooth removal because it runs at a really high RPM. Um, we'll get into the specific numbers for that once you guys are in lab. Um, but I do wanna show you the burr that you would place in here. So all high-speed burrs, I know it's kind of hard to see, um, have a smooth end to it. There's like hundreds of different attach, um, different types of burrs that go in the high speeds. They all do a different function. But to place it, the head of the um, handpiece, you're gonna place the smooth end down and then to lock it in place, you push that little lever up, pull on the burr to make sure it's locked in place. And then this would already be attached to the hose that's in the operatory. And then the little um, fiber optic light shines through here. And same with the water, it would spray through there. So this is again, the power lever or the latch. Um, this one here is a push button. So the back of it, the back of the head, you would actually just push with your thumb. Um, and you still place the burr in the front. So you slide that down. You have to push on this to push the burr down into place. And then again, let go, give it a pull to make sure it's locked in there. And then the fiber optic light and the water sprays out the front. So the, again, this is all one unit. Um, the high speeds don't have attachments that work with them. It's its own, own piece. It has a motor and a turbine all internally with that. So I'll take the burr out here. And then the last one that's not used very common, um, this is called a wrench style. The back of it has like three little holes that line up with the wrench that we use here. And you actually have to, um, it's a little trickier, you have to loosen it, line up the wrench with those, and then you quarter turn it to lock it in the burr in place and then opposite when you take the burr out. So again, place the burr in. You want to hang on to it as you tighten that down. And then give it a pull, make sure it's good. And this one, if, you know, it's a lot more time consuming for the doctor to use this little wrench to take the burr in and out every time they need to change it out. So they've kind of done away with this style, but you guys still get to learn it. So again, these are your slow or high speed hand pieces. The ones that have the fiber optic, the remove bulk tooth structure. Um, and again, you don't have any attachments that go with those. They just hook right onto the hose and they are good to go. Um, next, we're going to talk about the slow speed motors. There's a couple different ones. That's these two here. This one, it literally says the type of it, uh, motor it is, it's a Midwest Rhino, with, and it's a straight motor here. And then this one, if you read it, it's probably hard to see on camera, but it says shorty. Um, it looks kind of like a little 
gun almost. Um, these hook right into the um, hose that's in the operatory. Um, they do not have water that works with the slow speed motor in the attachment. There's no water when you use the slow speed. Again, it's slow speed because it moves slower. The RPMs are much, much less than the high speed, so it removes tooth structure a lot slower. Um, good for polishing or decay removal that's maybe getting close to the pulp or the nerve of the tooth. Um, you do have to have an attachment with the slow speed motor. So I'm gonna show you one attachment. This is called the um, contra angle sheath sheath meaning the end of it here is open or hollow and it fits right over the end of the slow speed motor here so it actually just snaps you'll hear a little click snaps into place and it's locked on to take this attachment off you just see this little lever here you just push down on that and it releases it right away. You don't unscrew it or anything. It's or it moves around um, for different angles when it's working in the patient's mouth. So again, you don't unscrew this. You just push this little lever here to detach the contra angle sheath. Again, sheath meaning it has the opening here and it would just click on to the motor itself. This is used the same way. You do it just click that into place and then to remove it it doesn't have the lever but it does have this um, red button here so you would push that and then it releases so you push the button pull the attachment off okay so again the sheath can connect right on to each of these motors and the motors are more of a preference the doctor um, I see the shorty this one that looks more like a little gun most often in offices the um, rhino here, um, it's pretty common, but just not as much as I see the shorty. Um, and then next, we are going to show you a different type of attachment. This is called your straight attachment. Again, see the straight attachment? Actually, one second here. I'm gonna back up and show you how to place a burr in the contra angle. So a contra angle sheath, again, this whole thing together makes a slow speed handpiece. Um, to open up, to place the burr, you see this little um, latch in the back here. Once that swings over, that means it's open and you can place a burr. The burr for the slow speed, it, I took a picture of it, but it has like a little notch at the end and it's a little thicker. So. You have to place that in the end and kind of give it a little twist. You'll feel it um, engage into the back here and then you have to hold that and push this, I call it like a little ponytail. You push that over so it's straight and lined up. Think of this as um, the chest of the handpiece. This is the head, the back of the head. That's why I say a ponytail in the back so you know which direction this goes and then you give it a tug and it's in place there. This one does come apart to clean and oil. I'll take the burr out first. You can unscrew the neck here of the contra angle and it has like the little gear inside. So it has a couple little parts. Typically you don't take this apart only um, you know, once in a while for maintenance as far as oiling. When you put it back together though, make sure it's not backwards. See how the ponytail is where the chest is? So we would need to swing that around. And make sure that the head is the same, facing the same direction as the chest of the handpiece. And again, when we sterilize these, we take them apart, sterilize them together, but separated, not connected together. You guys probably remember that from your sterilization checkoffs. Okay, um, so then our straight attachment, this has another lever style here. This is another type of one, it's straight. Um, this one is a twist lock. There's this little part here that you twist 
and then this one has a lever that you um, push down to attach either the straight um, acrylic burr or handpiece burr. You guys use this with the lab engine. Um, this would never be used intraorally or in a patient's mouth. This would be mostly used chair side, but to adjust maybe a denture or a partial, um, a night guard, a retainer, something like that. Again, this burr never goes in a patient's mouth. It's um, too way too big to use intraorally. So this straight attachment with this handpiece burr would be used chair side to adjust um, appliances and things like that. And this is very common out there. And again, this straight attachment is can be used on either of the motors. And then it has the straight, um, the handpiece burr or the acrylic burr that goes with it. Um, we can use an option is this contra angle um, attachment. It's a slow speed attachment, but you see how it has like a post at the end of it versus the sheath has the opening. So again, the sheath can go directly on the motor. However, the contra angle attachment cannot because it has that post. So then it would go into the straight attachment. So it's kind of like puzzles if you're a puzzle person. And that would make this a very, very long and heavy on the doctor's wrist um, slow speed handpiece. It's an option. It's not one that's very common, but maybe if you had a handpiece a slow speed that's not working or they're maybe being sterilized and you needed it right away. If they had this option with the post, it can go into a straight attachment and then onto the motor. Again, the straight attachment has to go onto the motor. It can't work alone. So anything related to the slow speed motors, whether it be the contra angle slow speed, the straight attachment. Um, again, there's two different styles one that's a twist lock or the one with the lever. All those have to be used with a motor. They can't be used by themselves. Um, okay, and then the last here is our Profi polisher, our Profi motor. Um, these color coordinate as a purple or lavender stripe down here. This gets connected right into the hose in the operatory. Um, there's a little notch here in the Profi attachment. This is a disposable profi angle. Um, and then on the handpiece itself, do you see that little knob or button there? That little notch just actually lines up with that. And then it just slides on there. It doesn't lock in place or anything. And then this swivels for easier um, maneuvering when you are polishing in the patient's mouth. And then again, when you are done, this would get tossed into the garbage and then you would sterilize the polisher here. And that's a very common um, motor and attachment or profi angle that are used in the offices. Another style is a profi angle sheath. Again, sheath, remember, you would slide it right onto the uh, motor itself. Um, this again is the shorty motor, just like the same one we used for the slow speed um, contra angle or the straight. Um, this would just slide on there. It snaps into place. It's locked on and then it has the profi angle at the end here that you would be able to use with the profi paste and polish the patient's teeth. Again, you would push the little lever right here. Kind of see that. And then you slide that off and you'd toss this. Um, anything plastic, usually you're gonna, it's disposable. And then all the rest of the motors, high-speed handpiece are um, to be sterilized. Again, we never put motors or attachments or anything, handpieces in our ultrasonic. They go directly over to the sterilization um, side where the pouches are and the assistina, which is the machine that oils the handpieces. Um, we do have to maintain them, otherwise they're very expensive, so we need to maintain and make sure that they are staying working properly, and um, we do that. We oil in, there's two little um, 
kind of air shaft there. There's a gold one that's a little bit smaller and then the larger one. So we oil the gold that's smaller on those. And same with the slow speed. Um, if it's hard to tell which one's smaller, it's usually the shorter one. It's hard to see. You'll be able to tell more when you're in person um, working with these. Again, we would have like a burr block here. Make sure you look at the end of the burr to know which goes in a slow speed versus which one goes in a high speed. It's all determined on the end. The slow speed again has a little notch and it's a little bit wider and then the high speed is smooth it has a smooth end and they're a little bit smaller and this one is on here just to show you guys this one you guys have used already with the lab engine um, this is just a straight hand piece um, just again as a refresher it's only used with the acrylic burr or the high speed burr um, and it's only used on the lab engine or the belt driven hand piece we never use this in a patient's mouth and that is all the um, hand pieces.